Hey guys, Josh here, and today I'm gonna be playing Rune Factory 5 for the very first time. The Japanese version of the game just came out about 5 minutes ago, and I'm so 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 excited to start playing. There's no official date for the Western release yet, unfortunately, but hopefully this video will give you a pretty good preview of the game. So I'm just gonna go over the menu, so you can start from the beginning, you can continue a previous save file. There's also voice commentaries, so here you can hear the voice commentary from all of the different voice actors involved in the game for the different characters. So maybe we can take a look at this. A little bit later and there's also an online manual so i'm guessing if you buy the physical version of the game you're gonna get the actual booklet because uh, usually with story of seasons and rune factory games they always provide little booklets but i bought the digital version so it's nice to be able to have this little online manual as well yeah i'm just so excited for the game so let's just jump right into it so let's start right away so, just for context, I did play Rune Factory 4, I also played Rune Factory Tides of Destiny or Rune Factory Oceans on the PS3. I recently went back to Rune Factory 4 Special on the Switch while waiting for this. We've been waiting for Rune Factory 5 for so so long. Yeah, let's just start. So we're starting with this beautiful cutscene in the forest. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is Hina. And we've seen this in the trailer already, so you're gonna have to save her from some monster. But yeah, let's see what happens. Ah! So it seems like we've just heard something and the girl is screaming. And basically with this text you say, oh, I, I gotta save her. But you basically choose if you're a boy or a girl. So we're gonna play as a boy. Alright, yes. And this is us, so this is Ares, and the girl character is named Alice. He doesn't remember anything for some reason, as always in Rune Factory, <laughs> actually. And uh, right, I gotta help her. Oh, and it's completely voice acted, I think, right? Most of the dialogues in the game. Oh, it's just a woolly, nothing, nothing too bad. Alright, so I think we're gonna jump in the fight right away and I'm playing with the pro controller right now just for some context and if you press the L button you're gonna open your pocket so you can uh, take the sword and then with Y you can equip it and with B you can attack and yeah just like this Ooh, this feels pretty satisfying I love how kind of quick and fast paced the combat looks so yeah, that was a pretty <laughs> pretty simple battle so far. So let's see how Hina is doing. Are you okay? Oh, 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 oh. We've got tougher monsters coming. I love the graphics actually. It does look pretty good. So there's two of them. Which one should I start with? So using the R stick, you can lock on. So that's gonna help you choose which enemy. Yeah, so if you press on the stick, you can lock. Which makes things a little bit easier. I think in Tides of Destiny we had a similar mechanic. Uh, but it's definitely useful for 3D combat. Alright, so I think she's gonna bring us to the village. Oh wow, this looks beautiful. What a nice sunset. Oh, and I think this is Priscilla. And she's <laughs> trying to step out of the city just for one step. But from what I've read of her bio on the official website, it seems like she's really scared of going out of town. And this is her friend Lucy who's cheering her up. She wants to help her get out of town. Oop. And here we are. <laughs> this is so cute. I love these little cutscenes. So this is the town. Yay, we made it. Oop. Oops. <laughs> oh no. And fortunately, we've got lots of people to take care of us. And here we are. <laughs> I love the facial animations. Oh, he opened his eyes. I'm gonna call mom. <laughs> so this is Murakumo. He just scared Priscilla and Hina. And he says, sorry Lucy, I've heard that my niece was brought in here. So I don't know who his niece... Oh, I think that's Hina. So he's Hina's uncle. And it seems like we're doing better now. So this person saved me. Oh, you took care of my niece. Oh, who's that? 
So her name is Simon and she's the doctor, but she's also the mayor of this town. And of course, she's also Lucy's mom. So she's doing lots of things. And she says, how are you doing? Does it hurt anywhere? And he says, I'm fine. I think my body's okay. And she asked my name. So by default, it's Ares, but I'm gonna go with Josh. Oh, and you can choose your birthday, of course. So there's four seasons. As usual, 30 days per season. And I'm gonna pick the third of autumn. This calendar looks so cute. Look at this little chip squeak. Uh, but yeah, third of autumn. My name is Josh and my birthday is on the third of autumn. And where did you come from? Uh, actually, yeah, so I'm trying to remember, but I'm sorry, I can't remember anything. You can't remember? No way, could it be amnesia? Yes, it looks like this. It looks like I'm making everybody worried. What should I do? I should get out of here before making more trouble. So I don't know if we're just gonna run away or... Oh, everybody, thank you so much. So I'm gonna go from now. Oh, what do you think about coming home? So everybody's debating where I should go, what they should do with me. So we're trying to debate who should bring you home. What if you're a bad person? Oh. No, that's not it. Josh is definitely a good person. So Hina is probably right, but Lucy has some reason to worry as well. If you check the soul sphere, you're gonna know if it's a suspicious person or not. Alright, so before we jump into the gameplay, I just want to take a look at the menu. So here we've got the status page, so that's pretty straightforward. And here we've got the inventory, so there's one page for the rucksack, there's one page for the rune abilities, and there's also a page to customize your pockets that you open up with L. Um, so you can choose which categories will appear, so by default you just have tools and weapons. But for example, if you want your produce to appear, then when you press L, you're gonna have produce, tools, weapons. So it seems like you can organize things a little bit better than in Rune Factory 4, for example. Um, and here you've got the skills, so I don't have any skills for now because I didn't do anything, but I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of different skills to level up. Here you've got the recipes, here you've got your partners, here you've got the relationships, so you get hearts for marriage candidates, and little smileys for friends. And as you can see, Murakumo is a marriage candidate if you're a girl, so there's no same-sex marriage in this game, unfortunately. And here you can see your monsters, so the relationships with your different monsters. Then on this page, you've got your memo. So right here, the first one is the requests. Here you've got the scenario. So there's main scenario and sub scenario. So I'm guessing there's gonna be like side quests and things like that. And here we have the seed marks. So I'm not sure what is that gonna be for. And here we have the stamp list. So I'm not sure what the stamps are for, but there's gonna be, I guess, 81 different stamps to collect. And here you can save and load. And lastly, we have the settings. There's quite a few different settings. Uh, one interesting one right here is that you can pick up the items automatically. So you don't have to press A every time to pick up something. There's also an auto target to target automatically. There's a field camera. So I think when you go in the field, uh, the camera is going to move up. Uh, automatically. There's also the subtitles, so I'm gonna put the subtitles on. So here we've got the camera settings and from the game trailers I know a lot of people got motion sickness and didn't feel very comfortable with how the camera worked in the game. So the first thing you can do is you can switch between normal and reverse, so that's pretty common. But you can also change the speed at which the camera rotates and you can also turn on or off the automatic camera. So for example, I have it on right now. So when I move like this, the camera rotates by itself. But if I turn it off, the camera is not going to move until I rotate it by myself. So I think if you guys are maybe sensible to motion sickness, hopefully that's going to help you. But I'm going to turn it on. Maybe I'm going to keep it off just in case. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the menu. If you guys want to know more in depth, uh, let me know. But um, yeah, let's just continue. So here we've got the calendar. So let's take a quick look at the festivals that we have for now. If it's like in Rune Factory 4, we're gonna unlock more festivals as we play. But on the first, there's the New Year's Day, which I'm really glad to see is here because in Olive Town, we didn't have that. And on the 28th, there's a vegetable contest and it's from 11 a.m. So it seems like the schedule for the events are gonna be pretty much similar to what we had in Rune Factory 4. 
And then there's the beach opening on the 1st of summer. On the 19th, there's the Night Beach Firefly Festival, which sounds pretty interesting. And on the 28th, there's also another Harvest Festival. And then in fall, we've got my birthday, of course. And on the 12th, we have Valentine Day. So it's quite interesting to have Valentine Day in autumn. And on the 25th, it's White Day. So if you don't know how Valentine Day works in Japan, so basically on Valentine Days, basically on Valentine Day, the girls are gonna give something to the boys. And on White Day, the boys are gonna give something to the girls. So that's how it works. And then on the 28th, we have another Harvest Festival. So basically, I think on the 28th of each season, yeah, so same thing in winter. So on the 25th of winter, there's some Holy Night Festival. I'm not sure what is that about exactly. And of course, on the 30th, on the last day of the year, we've got New Year's. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the festivals. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more to unlock. And here we've got a little closet. So let's change. So there's already a new clothes that I got with the Digital Deluxe Edition. So you've got your casual clothes here. So that's what we started the game with. And then you've got this one, which is the more like fighting gear, I guess. And then there's Vishnal, Arthur, Kill. So all of the characters from Rune Factory 4. There's also the swimsuit like this. And there's also Azel's outfit from Rune Factory Oceans, which honestly, it's definitely one of my favorite outfits. So maybe I can wear this for this video. So, all right, so we gotta go downstairs, see what's happening exactly. And what's this, I think? Oh yeah, so you can see the opening movie. And I think every time you're gonna unlock some kind of anime cutscene, you're gonna be able to watch them. Let's just see if there's anything else um, in the room. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the room for now. So let's go downstairs. And let's talk to Priscilla. So the chief's office is by the door right there. So I think right here. Yeah. And this is Rivia or Livia. I'm not sure exactly. So she's the chief of Seed, which is protecting the town. Rigbarth is the name of the town and Seed are the people that are protecting the town. So where you are right now is the Seed building. And what you're wearing is the Seed outfit. Well, it's not accurate because I actually just changed my clothes. So she says we changed you because your clothes were dirty. <laughs> so you can say yes, I got it or one more time, I think. I think we got it, right? It's quite straightforward. Thank you so much for telling me. So where do you come from and <laughs> why did you come here to this town? And actually, I don't remember. What's that? So he has amnesia, so we're not sure if he's a good person. So we need to check with the soul sphere. So once again, I'm not sure what's the soul sphere. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, okay, this one right here. So apparently this is going to tell if I'm a sketchy person or if I'm nice. And of course, I'm going to be a good person. So she says, please uh, touch with your hand. So let's see what happens. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. And I'm sure we're gonna have some special power. They're gonna tell us we're an Earthmate or something, pretty much like in previous Rune Factory games, I guess. Oh. <laughs> what? What? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, <laughs> I was surprised. What are you? Even if you ask me, I don't know. So usually the soul sphere just shines in many colors, right? So, Chief, what's happening? Mm. So this guy is not dangerous. The opposite, actually, there was nothing wrong when he touched the soul sphere. I don't really understand, but what's the soul sphere? Mm. So my mom said that this is something that measures someone's soul and by touching it with your hand, you can learn a lot about someone. Is that right, Rivia? Yes, that's right. So just instead of going, you should just help me with my work. So it seems like there's not a lot of people in Seed right now, so they need some extra help and you can stay here for free. And then I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to help everybody Oh, and it seems like there's some accident that just happened. Yuki's glasses just got spirited away. 
So, in other words, Yuki just lost his glasses. No, that's not it. It got really spirited away. It's a <laughs> really big in incident. So, Lucy, you should go together. Me again. So, while Lucy and Cecile are checking out what's happening with Yuki's glasses, Priscilla is gonna teach me about taking care of the field. So she gives me a choice uh, if I want to see the explanations or not. I think I'm fine. I think it's gonna be pretty straightforward. And then she just gave me the basic tools. And she tells me that I'm gonna be staying on the second floor of the guild. Uh, so this room is gonna be mine from now. Okay, so she's basically telling me about everything that I showed you earlier. So the calendar. Then we've got the projector to see the little cutscenes. And then there's the bed for sleeping, of course. And she says I can rest for the rest of the day, but yeah, I'm gonna go out. Okay, actually she wants me, I think she wants me to sleep right away, so let's just go to bed. Oh, I like that we actually get into our pajamas before going to bed. I think that's a pretty good details, and she says have a good night. Oh, and we've got our first little cutscene. Good morning. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that was really short. Good morning, Priscilla. And good morning, Lucy. Good morning. So, did you solve the glasses incident? Of course, naturally. Yuki just put his glasses on the top of his head. So, <laughs> that was not really a big incident. Alright, so they just told me about the map. So, if you press Y, uh, you can get the map of the town. And it looks like the world map looks pretty big. So, there's this whole area here. Then it goes there. And yeah, so that's rig Bart. It looks pretty big. And you should be able to see, yeah, if you go over a building, you're gonna see who's in that building. And I'm guessing I need to meet the other townspeople before I can see where they are. So let's do that. And so if you come on the first floor of the guild building, you've got Eliza right here. So right now the only thing I can do with Eliza is to change the difficulty level. So there's easy, normal and hard mode. So I'm gonna stay in normal mode for now. And so here is Rig Bar. Oh, it seems like we've got some treasures. We've got some stuff. As you can see, you can pick up things automatically, which is very, very convenient. So we've got lots of juice, orange juice. So maybe you can clean up our field a little bit. So, yeah, as I said earlier, there's a camera that you can toggle on. So when you go near the field, it's going to pan up automatically like this. So I don't have the axe or hammer yet, so I'm not going to be able to clean my field too much. But maybe I can just get rid of that like this. And let's plant our few tomato seeds. Oh, and you can actually just press B continuously and it's going <laughs> to do it in a straight line like this. So you don't even have to move the joystick. So that's quite useful, I think. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. I don't think we had that in previous Rune Factory games. So now let's plant these seeds. So of course we can plant them four at a time like this. And then I'm gonna water everything. So you can fill up your watering can here. And the same thing with our watering can. You can just press B multiple times and it's gonna move kind of automatically. All right, so our gardening is done for now. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get more tools for sure. Maybe I can get some grass. Maybe I can sell that. And you can also see the sale records. So just like in Rune Factory 4, you're gonna be able to see everything that you shipped. And what is that? So this is kind of a guide so we can learn about the field, about seed, about the monsters and everything. Um, so maybe we can dive into that in details a little bit later. But yeah, you can learn pretty much how the field works and like all the technicalities and how to do things. Also, if any of you guys are thinking of getting the game but you don't know Japanese, I'm thinking I might make some videos where I just kind of translate the menus and translate the guides and things like that. So just to help you out if you want to get the game before the Western release. And of course, you can lock with the right joystick so you can throw things directly. Oh, I missed it. I was a little bit too far, but you can throw things directly in the box like this. So I think I forgot a few herbs there, like this. That is so fun. That's so satisfying. All right, so let's meet everybody. So as you can see, I have these points on my map and there's a board here. So I'm not sure. I'm thinking there's going to be some requests there as well. 
But yeah, here is Rig Barth, guys. I think it looks pretty good. Here we've got a little plaza, so I'm thinking there's probably going to be some events here. I don't know if you can. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't jump into the river. All right, so maybe we can go to the bakery. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. Look at all these different breads. And we've got the little grandma cooking. And it smells, smells like baking bread. Welcome. Thank you. And sorry, I didn't come to buy bread. In reality, oh, are you the new member of Seed? Oh, so she's Yuki. So she says, oh, do you know Yuki? Oh, that's the, the person with the glasses incident, right? Yeah. So yesterday, Priscilla talked to us about you. She seemed very happy uh, that there was a new Seed member. And so the shop owner is Randolph. And his wife is Yuki, so they're taking care of the bread shop together. Alright, so we've seen the bread shop, and now let's go to the clinic right here. So I guess, so Simon's right there, so I'm guessing that's where they're gonna be able to buy medicine. And I don't know if the doctor is gonna be <laughs> as expensive as in Rune Factory 4. I was always, always very sad when you were passing out in Rune Factory 4. So she said that she was going to try some new medicine on me. Uh, so maybe we can explore the building. It looks like it's pretty big. So there's a second floor right here. It's kind of empty. I don't know if there's going to be something else in the future. Oh, some drink here. Yeah, the buildings are so big. There's so many different rooms. And it's been such a long time since I've played like a Rune Factory in 3D. Because Rune Factory Tides of Disney was such a long time ago. And yeah, I feel like it does look really beautiful so far. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the bath. So here it is. It looks like a pretty big building. So we've got Murakumo working here. So when you're tired, you can come in the bath here and it's gonna refill your HP and RP. Uh, so pretty much the same as in the previous Rune Factory games. So maybe we can explore. So it seems like there's a few different rooms. So I think we have bedrooms on the first floor. And then maybe on the second floor. Then here, there's a kind of restaurant. Yeah, the buildings are really big, actually. So here we've got a little kind of changing room for towels and stuff. And here you've got the baths. And you can wash yourself here. So I like the little attention to details. It really does look like a kind of a hot spring. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this building. So here we've got the blacksmith. So I'm guessing that's where we're gonna be able to buy weapons and tools and upgrades. So we've got Martin, and I'm not sure who's that big guy. I don't remember his name quite well. So pretty much like in other Rune Factory games, you can craft your own weapons and tools. And now he wants me to craft a two-handed sword. So let's select two-handed sword here. And there's a claymore. And I'm guessing he's going to give me the ingredients to make it like this. And okay. And let's see how it goes. Oh, so actually, I thought there was gonna be a mini game or something, but it's just kind of instant like this. And we made the claymore, so that's gonna be my first weapon. And he says that if you eat recipe bread, just like in Rune Factory 4, you're gonna be able to learn new recipes. So that's pretty good. So let's check out our new weapon. So attack plus five. This one is attack plus 12. So oops. I'm still, I'm still getting a little bit confused with the control, but yeah, so that's my two-handed sword. It looks pretty strong. All right, so I've now met everybody, so I think it's time to go to bed, and the next day I'm gonna see Rivia, and let's see what happens. But yeah, it was pretty nice to meet everybody. I think <laughs> I want to try to keep this video under 30 minutes, so I'm probably gonna skip a lot of the cutscenes and introductions. But yeah, so it became late, so let's go to bed now. Oh, 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 what's up with that? Oh, so this is Ryuka. What just happened? Maybe I didn't see things clearly, so it seems like Ryuka just disappeared. All right, so it's now day number three, and I just skilled up, I think, probably my sleeping skill. Yeah, exactly. So I'm now level one in sleeping. So let's go see how Rivia is doing. And she's asking if I think I'm going to be able to get familiar with the town. And I can say yes, because everybody was really kind. And I can say yes, uh, if I take the time or I don't think so. But we're going to be kind and say yes, everybody's really kind. So we're going to be fine. 
And by the way, Josh, did you notice uh, outside there's this bulletin board? So people of the town can put some requests there. So she says you should check it out and Priscilla put a request there. So let's take a look at the bulletin board. So there's two requests. There's one from Priscilla. Uh, so it says Priscilla looks like she's worried about something. Go talk to her in front of the restaurant. And there's one request from Rivia, which is the first making. And I think making is the equivalent of the orders that we have in Run Factory 4. So this is going to give me four turnips. And I'm not sure what this one is going to give me. So I don't know if I can accept more than one request. So let's see. Yes, so you can accept more than one request at once, which is good. That's one thing that was kind of bothering me a little bit with Rune Factory 4. You can only take one at a time. So for the making, you have to talk to Eliza. So as you can see, I have 108 points and I can make some development making. And I can expand my bag, my rucksack, for 50 points. So we're going to go do that. And making so yeah, that's pretty much like the orders from Rune Factory 4. So I've expanded my bags and you can also order festivals and things like that. So for example, if we took a look at the festivals, so now she just gave me 1000 point. So there's the cooking festival. Oh, there's the bean throwing festival, just like in Rune Factory 4. There's a fishing contest, a flower festival. There's the Buffamu contest. Oh my gosh, there's so many festivals. Uh, so the next one is gonna be the cooking festival which is on the 6th of spring so maybe I can order this one since it's gonna be quite soon and once you're done you just come back to the bulletin board and you get your reward so I've got my four chinip oh and there's another request already all right so he just gave me this chest so I can pick it up and move it yeah so it seems like you can put furniture pretty much everywhere like not in a slope but if there's a flat surface, like if I want to have a chest here in the street, I could. Uh, but of course, I'm going to put it in my room. So I think I can access the room from here. And the loading screens are quite fast, which is something <laughs> I really like. I really appreciate. And look at how these uh, curtains are moving with the wind. I think that's a pretty nice detail. But yeah, I'm going to put the chest here. And it seems like placing down the furniture is a little bit easier than in Rune Factory 4. We've also got Parimo who's gonna give me an axe. So I'm gonna be able to get some lumber with that. So maybe we can try this right away. And I wanna plant my new turnips as well. I feel like the stumps stick out a little bit. I feel like they maybe they look a little bit odd. I don't know if it's just me. Uh, but I feel like they look a little bit weird. And I really like this auto pickup. That's so convenient. And as you can see, my RP is going down so much. Oh my gosh, I gotta be careful. I'm running out of RP. Let's have some orange juice. Oh, and I like that you actually drink it. You're not just like eating everything. So yeah, let's plant our turnips and water our crops. All right, so my gardening is done for the day. Let me check if there's any other things on the board. Oh, and Palmo just give me this thing to put the materials so I'm gonna put this maybe I can put it against the house like right here uh, it's not straight let me just straighten this up a little bit maybe like this it's not too bad and then you can just oops <laughs> you can just throw stuff like this so let's see there was something else from Lucy so she wants me to ship some turnips so I think that's going to take a little while. I'm going to have to wait for my... Oh, no, actually, she gave me a turnip, so that's going to be quite easy. But yeah, I like that you can do more than one request per day. So I'm just going to have to wait for my turnip to get shipped. So I'm guessing tomorrow morning and there's no other request on the board for now. So let's go see Priscilla. She's in front of the restaurant. Ooh, I love this restaurant. It looks like it's kind of boat shaped. So just you saw my request on the board. So is this door locked? Yes. Oh, so I'm guessing the restaurant is closed and we're gonna have to to do something. Yeah, it doesn't open. Did you lose the keys? No, only my sister has the key. Oh, I see. So let's go find her. So actually, she's inside the building. <laughs> she's inside the shop. Oh, no. It's been a few days since she didn't come back. No way. She's stuck inside. This is so bad. Oh no. <laughs> so what are we going to do? We're going to have to break in. Priscilla, is that okay if I break the door? Yes. All right, let's go. Let's just 
break down. Oops, <laughs> it seems like it's a very sturdy door. Oh no. And Martin is here to help us with his huge hammer. And oh no, still not working. And Ryuka says, wait, 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 wait. This guy. Hmm. And I think Ryuka is gonna use his brain to find a solution. I think, yeah, he's doing some locksmithing. So yeah, he was able to unlock the door. So let's go inside and get Priscilla's sister. Oh, it looks like there is no one here. Oh, there she is. Oh, so this is um, Huka, right? I think. So this is Fuka and she's working part-time at a restaurant and she can't really speak a uh, human language. Oh, and we've got someone else right here. All right, so that's her sister and she was too lazy to walk back home. So she was sleeping here. So my name is Erushe and I'm Priscilla's sister and I'm working at a restaurant and I'm glad that she's fine. All right, so we've got some potion for doing this. So let's see if we can buy any food. So I don't think we can buy anything for now. So let's go out. So now that this is done, I really like the sun shining through the trees. The sun rays, they look pretty good, I think. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to the guild. So Rivia just gave me a mark. So this is the beginner mark and it allows me to go to the inn for free to take a bath for free and replenish my HP and RP. And apparently it's going to be removed when I'm more advanced. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how that works more in details. And as for the stamp, uh, I was wondering what was that earlier, but it seems like these are some kind of achievements. So there's 81 of them in total. So I got one for completing my first request and I got one for shipping something for the first time. So now I would like to go and try to do some fighting. So let's go over here. So I just came out of town and see if there's any monsters. So there's some woolies right here. I'm not going to be able to tame them because I don't have the brush. I don't have any monster barn yet. Wow, these are <laughs> very easy. And of course, you have to destroy the gate if you want them to stop spawning. And I just leveled up. So the battles are quite easy for now, but these are pretty simple monsters. But also, as you saw earlier, there's difficulty levels. So if it's too easy, you can always change it up. And here we've got some pink woolies. So it seems like maybe the frame rate is dropping a little bit uh, when I'm fighting. I'm gonna have to play a little bit more to see how that goes exactly, but it seems like it's maybe slowing down a little bit. And I think here is probably gonna be the first dungeon or something like that. So I probably cannot go there for now. So I like how the map looks quite big and kind of open. We have these huge plains and areas to explore. And we've got a chest here. Let's see if there's anything interesting inside. So we have a little flower and some fish. So it says that there's many different types of mushrooms. So there's delicious mushrooms and also poison mushrooms. So be careful. So we can try and see how that mushroom is. And this one was a good mushroom. Oh, no, <laughs> I just got paralysis. So I don't know if the effect is going to go away by itself, but right now I'm very, very slow and I don't think I have any kind of antidote for that. Yeah, I don't have anything for that for now, so <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. And I don't think there's a way you can teleport automatically to your house like you could in previous Rune Factory games. Or maybe it's just something I have not unlocked yet, but that's not something I can do for now. And here we've got some Buffamu. So I think they look a little bit different from Bofamus in previous Rune Factory games and it seems like they're a little bit stronger. Well, they're not really defending themselves, but they are a little bit tougher than previous monsters. So you know what, since I have paralysis, I think I'm just gonna go back to town 
because uh, it's <laughs> kind of bothering me and maybe I can check if the clinic has anything to sell to cure that all right the <laughs> this is taking forever but the clinic is right here Thankfully, it's one of the first shops when you come into town. So hopefully they have something for me. So actually, I don't have I only have 56 G. So I'm not going to be able to buy anything. And also, she asked me if I had a license. Uh, so if I can go. Oh, actually, it just cured itself right now. So I just had to wait a little bit more. But my paralysis is cured now. But yeah, just like in Rune Factory 4, you can get a license to make your own medicine. But yeah, you know what guys, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for today. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, I've been playing for over 2 hours, I'm gonna try to keep it short. But if you wanna see more Rune Factory 5 content like this, make sure you click like and subscribe. I'm also gonna try to stream this game every week, so make sure you don't miss out on that. And let's just finish this video on a beautiful view of Rigbart. So look at this, look at this beautiful town. There's a little bridge here. I don't know. Oh, so there's a pretty big lake here. So I'm guessing you can do some fishing. I don't have any fishing rod yet. But that's going to be interesting for sh Actually, it looks kind of empty, right? I, I, I'm really not a big fan of this mountain there. It feels like it was done a little bit lazily, maybe. But <laughs> let's just ignore that for now. Uh, yeah, I just want to take a look at the mountain. Look at this, guys. And you can just jump like this. Yeah, so that's gonna be pretty much it for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.